Hello, welcome to Cello Tuesdays. I'm Douglas Jenkins, Artistic Director of the Portland Cello Project. Tonight, we have a very special show planned for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, we were we had scheduled tonight, Val Dean Mishkin was going to join us and do a really, really wonderful program. But we were having a couple of technical difficulties that we were a little bit worried about doing that stream. And so we are going to postpone hers for a couple of weeks and she'll be with us um, June 2nd. Um, and tonight, instead, we've got Gideon Freudman and Skip Von Kusky, both kind of going to trade off songs from different parts of Portland, jumping back and forth uh, the way we do sometimes here with Portland Cello Project. Uh, Skip and Gideon are both original members of the group. They both they both played key roles in building it into what it's been over the last 10 years. So it's really fun to have them with us tonight. Um, Quick announcement, next week we've got Amit Pellet joining us, which will be absolutely amazing. Do not miss it. Put it on your calendar, um, RSVB to the event invite. And uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the music. Let's start by looking at, let's meet, let's see if we can get Skip up here. Skip Von Kusky, how are you doing? I am doing really well. It's really right. great to be here. Thank you. So Skip Von Kusky, if you don't know him, he's originally from New Jersey. He moved to Portland. His daughter was born in the back of a Volkswagen bus. And he delivered her, I do believe. This is, this is I do believe, the story. The wife delivered her. I caught her, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um, where are you coming from right now? Tell us where you are. Um, I'm in my bedroom in northeast Portland. It's the uh, boudoir set. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Awesome. OK, and awesome we, we got with us tonight Gideon Freudman. Let's bring him up here. Gideon, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. Nice to be here. Awesome. So Gideon lives in, in southeast Portland, by contrast, um, in the shadows of Mount Tabor, which is an extinct volcano on the five days a year where there's enough sun to make there be shadows of Mount Tabor. Gideon, where are, where are you coming from? Where are you right now? Uh, I'm, in my, uh, I'm in my studio, in my home. Okay. So I had a pretty hellish commute from the bedroom, but I made it. I know how that goes. Did you leave the house today? Uh, I did. I, uh, I, I rolled the, uh, the bins back up the driveway. So that was that was pretty exciting. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's, it's it's been a full day. It sounds like it. You you ventured out of the house to the place where the coronavirus is is raging. Did you um did you did you wear a pair of matching socks? I uh, I don't remember. I and I don't think I had pants on, so I would have noticed. But um, <laughs> uh, yes, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I had pants on, and uh, yes, the socks matched. Okay, great. Well, you're doing better than I am today, so that's good. And hopefully, hopefully all of you out there are doing well as well. We're going to kick it off starting out with Gideon. Gideon's going to play something, and then we're going to jump over to Skip. Gideon, what have you got? What are you going to start with? I'm going to start with a, uh, a Portland Shallow Project classic. I'm going to play Denmark, which was a tune that I wrote originally as a, uh, as a solo loop tune, and then, um, and then wrote the arrangement that uh, the Shallow Project uh, plays often, much to my delight. Nice. Thanks so much, Gideon.
Yay! I like this multiple stream thing. We can actually, you can actually hear applause. <laughs> it, it's, uh, I've only done a few live streams now and it's that, that deadly silence at the end so. of it. So thank you for clapping. It's like, whoa, I have an audience. I don't need a big audience. One, two, that's great. <laughs> so thank you. It's so hard. It is so hard. And I'm, I'm clinging steadfastly to technical difficulties or not. We want to do these live. We want to keep them real because I mean, it's that human yeah. connection that's been that I, I'm missing for music. I, I never even get to play my cello on these, but I guess that's how it goes. So, um, well, thanks, <laughs> I'll, I'll host you if you want to. Yeah, play cello. maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Does that mean have to practice? This, so that's how, how, we should have a whole episode just devoted to how we motivate to practice. <laughs> this is all going on. Yeah. Oh man. Um, thanks, Gideon. We'll, we'll see you in a second. We're going to jump over to Skip and see what right. Skip's got to do. Okay. Great. All right. Excellent. Well, one thing that has uh, motivated me to practice is uh, people hiring me to come and play at a social distance in their driveways or front yards. Um, <laughs> and this uh, piece I'm going to start off with is something that would be appropriate on uh, an extreme dance party. Um, and uh, I played it for somebody's birthday a couple of weeks ago. And it's a last minute uh, choice of song, but I hope uh, everybody recognizes it. And I hope we can all get behind the main message. Nice. I hope I'm, we could all use a dance party. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yay! I will survive. Nice, Skip. I hope we all will. <laughs> we shall. We shall. <laughs> Thanks, Skip. All right, let's jump back to Gideon. Gideon, what are you thinking? What have you? What are you in the mood for? Um, I have a new tune that I've been working on lately. You know, the last couple of months, and I have not played it live yet. So uh, I figured here's a good chance to to give it a go. All right, let's do it. Looking All forward right. to it. Thanks so much, Gideon Freudman. All right, before I play this, just real quick, this is a tune called Flying Cars. And uh, I gave it the title for two reasons. One is it's got this bass line that goes like this. Like that, which uh, sounds like something that would have been done by the band, The Cars. And I've also got this new pedal that is a sustain pedal. And I discovered that if I go like that, and then I hit this pedal, it does this. Which is what I imagine flying cars would sound like, but that's probably because I was raised on the Jetsons. So anyway, there you go. That's that's why it's called what it is. And here it is, Flying Cars, the debut. I hope you enjoy it. Yay! <laughs> what's with the okay? What's with the car themes, Gideon? With the Robin that changes his oil. <laughs> well, I don't know. You can't drive to Denmark, so. Uh... Okay, you're right. All right. <laughs> Not from here, anyway. <laughs> Thanks. And apparently, you can't buy Greenland either. Really. Wow. Well, good thing we learned all these things this year, haven't we? It's Not been a very I productive, ever, knowledgeable year. Not that I ever tried. <laughs> <It's indeed. laughs> 
<laughs> all right, we're gonna jump back to Skip for a little bit. We'll see you in just a second. Get in. All right, uh, all right. Skip Von Kuski, what are you thinking? Just like oh. grand finale. We're gonna we'll do one more with you, and then we'll do a little bit of QA stuff, and then we're gonna oh, okay. let people get back to doing their evening ritual, whatever oh, it may okay. be. Well, that sounds good. Uh, my production assistant told me I was playing left-handed, so uh, hopefully this one will be better because I think I'm playing right-handed now. Okay, I hope so. I, you looked right-handed to me. Okay, well, I turned the thing around. Ah, whatever. If I'm left-handed on Facebook, I apologize. The ambidextrous <laughs> cellist. There are so many left-handed cellists on Facebook lately is what it seems. So um, what, are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna play? Well, uh, I have two choices. I, th I thought it was uh, four songs each as opposed to four songs total, but that's okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna do this another cover. Uh, it's a favorite and I haven't been doing it on live streams because it's like one of those things that I need people to hear it. So, okay. um, so I'm going to do an abridged version of this because it's too long a song. Uh, I think I heard somebody in the group once say, but it's uh, a little song by the British composer Led Zeppelin. All right, let's hear it. <laughs>
Thanks so much, Skip. Thanks, Gideon. Um, Thank you. It was fun. That's Cholo Tuesdays. That's what we do. I want to. I always want to end these with Q and A, but then I never announce them well enough to get the Q and A questions coming out, and um, and no one asked the questions, so we can make up questions or we could just say good night and wish everybody a really nice week. Should I make up questions? Of course, I'm going to make up questions. Make All right. Questions. Fine. All right, Gideon. Question for you. Um, if you had to ask Ruth Bader Ginsburg her favorite Led Zeppelin song, what do you think she would say? Oh, well, I think it would be, uh, I think it would be the one Skip just plays because she, uh, she loves cashmere sweaters. Indeed. They're soft. Yes. <laughs> it's a judicious, judicious, I can't even say it. It's a good choice. It's a judicious choice. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. Skip Von Kusky, question for you. Um, if you uh, had to, if you could ask Ruth Bader Ginsburg that, you, okay, you're going to cook dinner for Ruth Bader Ginsburg and you're asking her what she wants to eat tonight on May, whatever day it is. Is it May? I don't know. Anyway, what, what do you think she would say if you were to ask her what you would want her to cook her for the dinner in the evening tonight? Hmm. Uh, in peaches and cream? Oh, there we go. In peaches and cream. You heard it here first, folks. If Skip were to ask her, never mind, I'm going to try to get through that logic one more time. I give up. It's been a long day. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, next week, we've got uh, we've got Amit Palet joining us. It's going to be a really, really interesting week. Very classical, very different. Amit Palet is a conductor and a cellist, world-renowned conductor and cellist. Um, 
uh, used to play the same gefriller cello as Pablo Casals. Um, he's six and a half feet tall, started his life as a basketball player. You're going to meet him. You're going to get to know him. He's, he's a very interesting character and a phenomenal world-class cellist. So tune in next week, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, and all of the stuff, fill in the blanks with everything video casters are supposed to say. I never thought I'd ever be one. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful night, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.